Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I am hello. fine. How was your day today? It's hard. My 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 job is is hard. Oh really? What do you do? Uh, nothing. <laughs> only <laughs> only only sleep in 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 my bed. Okay, so you're but you're working or you are not working right now? Yes, I I uh, 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 this uh, this day is is holiday. Ah, okay, that's a, a day yeah. off. Today the, was day a, off. Yes. yes, day it off. Was a day off, because holiday is a longer uh, days of vacation. Oh, right? mm -hmm. oh, all right, okay, tens. Okay, you're welcome. Um, and the rest, <laughs> Anna Yamilet or Ma. Hello. Oh, okay, so Anna Yamilet, hello. How was your day? How's everything so far? Everything good? Or Maritza? Creo que ya está viendo se han conectado. ¿verdad? Creo que todavía, como nos habían acostumbrado a acabar a las ocho en punto, creo que todavía falta, teacher. Sí, ajá, ajá. it's okay. Yes. So, eh, tell us, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we study? The the voice passive, the uh, passive voice, uh -huh. passive voice, excuse me, and uh, the use of the by, uh huh, yes, the use of by, right? So we use the passive voice when uh we have uh, a when the bend is more important than the doer, right? When um the person is not really important. Yes, very good. And tell me, did you visit the platform? Do you have any question about the platform? No, I I I visit the, the platform. I I only only watch uh, the different exercise. Uh -huh. I only um what is I familiarizarse? Okay, getting getting acquainted. Ah, getting, getting acquainted. Getting okay. acquainted. Yeah, I'm gonna write okay. it here in the chat. So it's getting acquainted is uh, the formal word for uh, get familiar. Acquainted, acquainted, uh, it's like this. Here in the chat, you have other word, getting acquainted. Yes, okay, so um, yes, in the platform today, we are gonna study the song exercise in the platform. And so the ones that I assigned yesterday as a, as a homework, but don't worry because we're gonna do it in, in the class, right? We are gonna just check it in the class. Uh, I wanna change the what? The, my, my, my screen, I mean, I'm not sharing right now, right? But I wanted to share the screen, my screen, that, uh, but I, I don't see where. Let me see here. I think it's going to be here. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, so how long have you been studying English, uh, Juan David? Uh, hello. Uh, oh, hello, hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, in 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 the this form is um. The study English is, uh, is, is, is what is I empirical, empirical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, is my first occasion, uh, I, I think uh, learning English in, in formal, in formal education. Ah, education. okay. Okay. So you, it's like uh, or a personal, right? Like uh, you study by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. Ah, okay, yeah. that's nice. That's nice. Very good. Okay. Uh, so um, and what? Hello. Who is the other person who, who is? Uh, hello, uh, Milagro de la Paz. Hello, Maritza. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, uh, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh -huh. How are you today? Fine? I am good, teacher. 
Okay, very good. Okay, that's no, nice. Good, sir. Hello, good evening. Hello, everyone. Uh, hi, uh, Milagro. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Mirna Janet. How's everything? Everything good? Hi, teacher. Hi, Mirna. How are you? Very well. Okay. I was talking with Juan David. What do you remember about yesterday's class? Something you remember? ¿Qué vimos ayer? Yes. What do you remember about yesterday's class? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase de ayer? Something you remember? We were studying about passive voice. Yes, yes, right. Passive voice. We were studying yeah. about passive voice. Okay, an example. Um, for example, um, the president opened the building. Ah, yes. Huh? In the passive voice, we can say e the building was opened by uh -huh. the president. Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. So another volunteer to tell us what do you remember about yesterday? Hmm? Something you remember about yesterday? Hello, hello. Uh -huh. ¿Qué recordamos de ayer? Algo, cualquier cosa que recordemos eh, de la clase de ayer. You can listen my dogs, right? Barking. Okay. Uh, so, uh -huh. um, tell me, what uh, it's something you remember about yesterday's classroom? Okay. So, can you give me a, another example? Mm -hmm. Can you give me another example about yesterday? Yes. Okay, well, let's see. Vamos a ver. Who hasn't checked? Yes. Yeah. Ronald, can you give us, what do you remember about yesterday, Ronald? Hello, everybody. I remember some topics about the class yesterday. For example, the different scenarios uh, the Palm Island, for example, or other things that I, I don't remember exactly the uh, other places. And uh, the passive sentence, too. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Ronald, okay. right? Uh, thank you so much. Can you, uh, everyone, open the, your cameras for a moment? Can you turn off your cameras just for a moment for take a screenshot? If they ask me to send a screenshot, right? Please, for a moment. Encendamos solo un momento la, 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 la cámara. Okay, thank you, Carla. Uh, hello, Carlos. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Hello? Sure. Okay, we are going to turn off the cameras for a moment. Solo por un momento, vamos a encender la cámara. Uh, so in order to take a screen shot of you. Okay, lo están peinando. <laughs> okay, so we are going to continue today with the passive voice. Mientras espero que este, encienda la cámara, Nelson, Mirna, Sandra, hello. So we are going to continue with the passive voice, right? And uh, in the passive voice, so I was telling uh, to Juan David that the most important is is what? Uh, the most important is uh, the, the event, right? The event. Okay, I'm gonna take the screenshot and then I'm going to pass the attendance. Give me a second. Uh, you cannot see what I, what I am doing because I'm not sharing right the screen right now. Okay, here we go, that's, that's it. Okay, yeah, so you can turn off your camera if you want, right? Okay, if you want it, you can turn off your camera. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna share the screen with you. Just give me a few seconds. Let me see. So first of all, this one. Okay, so we have a, 
I think you can see it. Can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Not, yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so you have a, uh, so welcome to the English class, or intermediate three, online English program, right? So today we are in the session number two. So we have uh, the general information. Uh, my name is Salvador Hernandez. I didn't, I didn't um, say my name yesterday. I don't remember actually. So, and we have uh, the schedule, we have uh, the place, right? And so we have uh, the agenda for today, okay? So uh, in the agenda, so we have uh, some minutes, right? Before the class, okay? So we have uh, the greeting, the welcome, and general instruction. And then we have uh, the review, the warm up activity, and the attendance. We have uh, a snapshot that is the time for you to talk, vocabulary, and also we have uh, the grammar focus, conversation, online exercise, and the closing and five minutes for advices if you have any question, right? So we have uh, the general objective to contribute to the socioeconomic development of the, I can see it, of the country by strengthening English language skills in young and adults people through practical teaching program that, take, that take, takes place in face-to-face -face online mode with the support of technological tools. Okay, and then we have uh, the specific auditive. And then we have uh, also the auditives for today. Participants will be able to review the last session and talk about passive voice. Participants will be able to repeat some expressions, discuss passive voice sentences and complete some platform exercise. And we have uh, asking for and getting information details about wonders and famous places. Okay, that's the agenda. And right now I'm gonna share. Ah, so by the way, you have uh, the manual, right? So you already have the manual uh, over there in the WhatsApp group. Ahí tienen el manual, se los enviaron, verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. está descargado y estamos leyendo ya. Yeah. Okay, that's nice, very good. So yesterday we were talking about famous landmarks, right? Like uh, like wonders. So um, so have you ever seen by TV or have you ever seen any of these landmarks on TV or on internet? Have you ever yes. seen one of these? Yes. Yes. Okay, which ones? Which ones can you see here? What is uh, to yesterday? The Great Wall of China. Uh huh. Yes. The Colosseum, Colosseum of Roma, in Roma, the Taj Rome. Mahal, uh -huh. Taj Mahal, uh -huh. Liberty uh -huh. Statue. Uh huh. Statue. Uh huh. Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. Statue. Uh huh. Statue and Liberty and the, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower, right? Okay, that's nice. What else do you know? Um, what are the three most famous landmarks? Uh, for you of this. Uh, let's see. Um, we are gonna ask the question to. Hello, Jose. Are you here? Hello, hello. Hi, Jose. Okay, I'm gonna ask um me uh, Lago. Hello. Yes, hello. sir. Okay, hello, yes, Milagro. I'm here. So, hello. What do you know about the Taj Mahal? Something you know? Yes. Uh, about the Taj Mahal? I, I just know that it's in India, sir. Okay, it's in India, mm -hmm. right? Okay, mm -hmm. well, thank you. Nice, thank You're you, Milagro. You're welcome, sir. Okay, Ronald, so what do you know about the Statue of Liberty? Something you know? Liberty. Uh... Uh, Sometimes I read about the construction okay, of the yes. of Liberty, and um, uh, apparently the constructor of the Statue of Liberty used fireworks for oh. uh, huh? for um, figure it out how to construct and uh, and uh, levels that they need to do for construct all the all the structure. Okay, the structures, structures, right? Okay. Juan David, what do you know about the Eiffel Tower? Um, only, only, uh, is, is, is in France 
um yes it is a symbol of a uh, paris the city paris okay um in you in your moment if the tower um what do you say mas alta mas the tallest alta. Okay. The highest, the highest, the highest, the highest of Osborne. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Uh, at the beginning, the French people they didn't like it. Actually, they didn't yes. like it, the Eiffel Tower because they thought it was something not disgusting, but it was something too big for them. But but yes. then right now is an iconic symbol for yes. for French people. It's iconic. Yes. Okay. So that's nice, very good. Uh, so, uh, hello, Norma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Which one? Which one of these one would you like to visit? Which one would you like to travel to these ones? Uh huh. A cuál le gustaría visitar? Leo in Roma. Okay. Yes. Okay. In Rome, right? Okay, in Rome. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Marin. Hello, Marin. How are you? How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good. Hi. Thank you. Good evening. How's everything? Um, a little bit busy from college, but we stay here in class. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, so which one? Okay, that's nice. Um, so, uh, from these landmarks, what do you know about the Great Wall of China? Something you Ooh, know? Not much more than recently. I think it, it suffered, uh, what uh -huh. do you say? Some, yes. some, some wall, some part of the wall fell recently. Okay, yes, recently, yes, yeah. recently. Okay, that's nice, very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have a, this conversation, right? Sai Sint. Do you know what is the meaning of Sai Sint? Sai Sint. Like tourist, like, like tourist, something uh -huh. like that, I guess. <laughs> yes, similar, yes. Who is talking, actually? The locutor boys. <laughs> can, 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 Milagro, can, sir. Ah, Milagro. Ah, okay. So thank you, Milagro. Yes, is a synonym for um to visit the touristic places in uh in a country that is sightseeing sightseeing is imagine that you go to the guatemala and you visit the safari shopping you visit the zoo you visit the walls and then so uh you you uh, visit different places in guatemala you sightseeing in guatemala right mm -hmm. Okay, so sightseeing. So we have uh, the conversation. So we are going to uh, the conversation uh, uh, and we are going to repeat. Uh, well, you, first of all, you're going to listen to the conversation. I'm going to say it and you're going to listen. And then, so you're going to practice the conversation. So in first, right? So we have the guy. Uh, so we have, it's a conversation between a guy and Andrew and James. Actually, they are three people, right? We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. Okay, uh, it was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do, you, do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. The stairs, there is no elevator, mm -hmm. not, not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Do you have any question with vocabulary so far? Yes. Yeah. alguna pregunta con vocabulary o la pronunciación? Questions? Uh, do you say who? Oh. Sorry? Up, oh, yes, or oh, oh, what? No, uh, it's really hard. way up to. 
Ah, ah, where go? Eh, uh, in Andrew or in the guy? Yes, I Andrew. Andrew, look really at it. Small. It's really huge. Huge? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, huge uh, is a synonym for enormous. <laughs> enormous. Very, very big. Enormous. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Very good. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. So I need two volunteers to read the code. Well, I need three volunteers. One is going to be the guy, another one, Andrew, and another one, James. Okay, so... Bueno, creo que lo voy a ir escogiendo así por el orden en que están. Para no confundirnos. Okay, Milagro de la Paz. You're going to be the guy. Juan David, okay. you're going to be Andrew and Sandra James. All right, teacher. Okay. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at this. Yes. Sandra, Yes. Yes. <coughs> I am James. Yes, Sandra. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really good. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb. They start all the way up to the crown. Um, stories, uh, I stories. Uh, there is uh, no elevator. Elevator. Not to the top, but it just um one hundred uh forty two step. Very good. Excellent. Nice, excellent pronunciation. Nice, I really like it. Okay, so uh, remember that when you have a letter T between two vowels, all the time it's going to be as a letter R. For example, it's okay if you say visitors, it's okay. Or you can say visitors, as, as Milagro said, right? Visitors, is okay. Also, there is another one here. I don't remember where, but for example, uh, when you sometimes you have a separate uh, words and you have a a uh, T, W, T, D, or W, D between two vowels, any vowels, even if it's separated, uh, so you can pronounce it as a letter R. For example, here you have a not, not at the top, right? Not at the top. Elevator, elevator is as a letter R because you have is between the two vowels, right? Is that the reason you say get up? Is that the reason why you say put on? You don't say put on, right? <laughs> you say put on. And you have a stairs right stairs okay they are not stars stairs and you have another one that was uh, isn't it right incredible is ah, look at it porque una r porque está entre la vocal i y la i en este donde dice andrew look at it okay excellent very good uh i'm going to um three more volunteers why choose the volunteers <laughs> democraticamente Okay, Norma Elizabeth, one volunteer. is going to be the guy. Thank you, Norma. Another volunteer? Joanna, Joanna, Joanna. Joanna. Sorry? Ronald. No, who said? Joanna, Joanna and Geraldine. Ah, okay. Joanna and Geraldine, it says. Okay. So, okay. Sí, sí. You can go ahead. Yes. Okay. Norma, mm -hmm. Joanna, Geraldine. Norma is the guy. Joanna, Andrew, and Geraldine, uh, James. Okay. We are now approaching in the famous statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor Times, 1886. Wow. Look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. French. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. 
It's really hook. Do we get to go inside? We can add the stairs on the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevators. No, to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, over there, so you have a, in the pronunciation where you have, uh, I it can is. see the emoticons. So, uh, so huge, right? Remember, huge, huge is enorme. Okay, huge. And also you have a, a statue, a statue of liberty, statue of liberty. And friends, right? Friends yes. was okay, right? And another one, another one, I think. Ah, look at it. Look at it, right? Okay, that's it. Okay, approaching. approaching, right? Getting, approaching. getting, uh, very near, getting near of the of the object. Uh -huh. We are now approaching, acercándonos, verdad? We are uh, mm -hmm. now approaching. Yes, excellent, very good. Uh, do you have any questions so far? No, no questions. Okay, vamos a, a ver si de los calladitos escojo tres más y ya es la última participación. Mónica Reyes. Ah. O sea, no, que somos no. los budistas nosotros, teacher. No, <laughs> no, de los que no han participado hoy. <laughs> ok, so, Mónica, hello, Mónica, are you? Hello. Ok, yes. eh, hello, Margarita Abigail. <laughs> are you around here, Margarita? Yes. Ok, so, uh, ok, very good. So, Mónica is the guy, Margarita, Andrew, and eh, Carlos Martínez. Hello, Carlos. Can be the can be James. Yes. yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. We are now approaching to the approaching the famous state of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Okay. Wow! Look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of French. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's fairly huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. The stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the no. But it's just one hundred for excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we are going to move to the uh, so we have a thing on our focus the passive with but the same, right? So yesterday we talked about the active voice and the passive voice, right? <laughs> Now, in the passive voice is the object the most important in the sentence. For example, Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. Pero si queremos hablar sobre la Estatua de la Libertad, so the Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi, right? Using by is the doer of the, of the sentence, right? The French gave the statue to the US in 1886. The statue was given to the U.S. by the French in 1886. So we have uh, this exercise about what can you see in the pictures? Tell me, what can you see in the pictures? Who can you see? The Mona Lisa. Picture? Okay, yes. The Yoconda. Yes, the Yoconda Conda. painting. Uh-huh. What else? E.T. <laughs> E.T. Ah, uh, yes. It's a movie, right? The E.T. is a yes. movie. Okay. Michael another? Jackson. <laughs> and Michael Jackson, the king of... <laughs> The king of the pub, excellent, very good. And here we have a, a to kill a mock, mockingbird. What is the meaning of mockingbird? Is the bird that appears in another movie, right? The yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The so. other, the other, the other picture is in Romeo and Juliet. Okay. No. Yes. Is oh. La Bohème. La Bohème. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Okay. We. Oui. <laughs> La Bohème. Uh, so, what are you gonna do? So you're going to match the Sentences in letter A with the sentences in letter B, right? This is in your manual. 
So if you cannot see, you can see it in your menu. So, but you can see it. I'm gonna give you some seconds to uh, see which ones are with which one, right? Mm -hmm. You have to match, right? Uh, letter A here, letter B here, letter C here, letter D and letter E. So it's clear what are you going to do? Uh, let me see. Uh, Patty Esmeralda is clear. The activity? Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent, very good. Uh, Lucy, Lucia, is clear the activity? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent, very good, nice. Okay. Hello, Irma, Adriana, how are you today? Fine? Thank good. Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, thanks. Okay, that's nice. Right now we are going to match the phrases in column A with the appropriate information from column B, right? Is okay, it's clear? Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, Okay. can you give me an example, one of you? <laughs> so for the number four, the field ET, the, mm -hmm. ex, ex, the extra, extra, terrestrial, terrestrial, and little um, A. Was directed a. by Steven Spielberg. Directed by Steven Spielberg. Excellent. One. Very good. Like, yes, directed by. Okay. Another volunteer to tell me one of the sentences. Number three. Yes, go ahead. The number novel three. to the number three, the novel to kill a mockingbird mm -hmm. uh, is letter B. Was written by Harper Lee. Excellent. Very good. That's nice, right? Yeah, Harper yeah. Lee, excellent. Another one? <laughs> yes? The number one, the Mona Lisa, is once painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Yes, excellent, very good. Another one? Hello, hello? So uh, the ones that are missing are the Opera La Boheme, and the album thriller, right? The famous yeah. album thriller. Okay. The album thriller uh -huh. uh, was recorded by Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, yes, the thriller, right? Hello, Carla, Melissa, are you there? Hello, hello. Are you busy? Can you talk? Hello, Carlis. Carla, Carla. Uh, did you say something or no? Okay, it's okay, don't worry. Anna Yamilet, hello, are you? Are uh, yes, you... teacher, the number hello. two, the opera, the bo M, uh -huh. M was composed by Giacomo Pacini. Puccini, uh-huh, excellent, very good, very good. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, here we have uh, these sentences. Change these sentences into passive void. Sentences with by. Then take turns reading them aloud. So can you help me with the number one? Esta la vamos a convertir en voz pasiva. So tell me, can you help me with the number one? Mirna Janet? Thomas Edison invented. Hi. You can do it. Um. Solo leerla, no, no, no la respuesta. No de antes. El nombre. Ah, el nombre. Ah, nombre one. one. Yes. Oh, okay. Thomas Edison invented the um, phonograph in 1877. 1877. 1877. Excellent, very good. Number two, Mary Curie, eh, Juan David, ¿será que nos ayuda? Yes, teacher. Marie Curie discovered a uh, radium in uh, 1898. Excellent. Very good. Nice pronunciation. Uh, can you help us, uh, Jose? Jose, Jose what? Jose Carlos. No. What's your name? Uh -huh. Can you help us with the number three? Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote 100 years of solitude in 1971. 
Yes, excellent, very good. Okay. And here we have a, you can say 70 or 70, right? What is the difference? 70 is when you have a, in a form of people. When you have form of people, you can say 71. If you have with friends or family, or family, you can say 71, right? Excellent, very good. Nice pronunciation, eh, Jose. Eh, can you help us, Ana Yamilet? No, so are you in the number yes, four? Yes, teacher. Okay, Tim Berners. Tim Berners Lee developed the World Wide Web in a mm -hmm. 19... A... Ay, que no leo, están lejos. Muy pequeño. Sí, perdón. Ok, it's ok. Eso le iba a decir yo también, teacher. I don't see. Ah, ok. Ok, aquí okay. está más grande. Ok. Ok. Yes, uh, yes, developed. 1989. Yes, 1989. Sorry. It's ok, don't worry. Ok, sorry that I, I didn't matter <coughs> before. Ah, ok, uh, somebody else, ¿quién ha hablado? Hablado. And Geraldine, you already talk. No sé. <laughs> okay. Who paid the producer the first digital HGTV? In 1991. Yes, right? Yes, high, high definition television. Okay, first. Esta ahí como dice es una verdad. First. También tercero. First. Third. First, third. Produced. Produced. Okay, very good. So what are we going to do right now? So right now, uh, this is from your manuals, right? You are going to uh, change the sentence into passive voice, right? So for example, you're gonna say, the phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877, right? Again, the phonograph, because we want to talk about the phonograph because it's the invention is the most important part of the sentence. So the phonograph, right now, the most important is the phonograph because that is the topic. The phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877, right? Okay, and then you have to complete number two, number three, number four, and number five in your notebooks, right? In your notebooks. Is clear? Yes? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. yes Kevin Josias, do you have any question, Kevin? Hello, Kevin. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any question so far about the exercise, about the pair work? Okay, so Mirna Janet, is clear the activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent, very good. Hi, Nelson Alan, is clear the activity? Do you have any question so far? Okay, so, uh, okay, so, uh, hi, Patty. do you want to say something? Teacher, sure, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, the first uh, uh, sentences of Thomas Edison invented uh, to phonograph, uh, uh, what, uh, cuando lo cambiamos a modo pasivo, el fonógrafo no pasa a ser el sustantivo. Sí, yes. Yes. Yes, the subject. As I said, the phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877. Okay. Okay. Patty, do you have a, a question, Patty? No, sorry, teacher. I'm oh, a sorry. little bit <laughs> bad with my throat. Ah, okay. No problem. Okay. No problem. Okay. So the radio, el radio, right? The radio. So, no el radio de escuchar, ¿verdad? No de listening to the radio, right? The, the radiation. Radio, the radiation, right? The radiation. So, how do you say the number two? In passive voice. The radiation was discovered by Mary Curry in 1898. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Ah, we have uh, two chats here. Ah, okay, it's okay, Nelson Edan. No problem. No problem. 
hasta ahorita lo voy viendo. <ríe> Una hora después. <ríe> no, but it, okay, so it's okay, no, no problem. Eh, okay, so somebody else? Yes, I could do that third. Okay. One hundred, one hundred years of solitude was uh, written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1971. Yes, excellent. Was written, right? Was written. Usamos, usam, we use the, the simple plus or the past participle of the verse in the same. Past participle. The, the past, past participle. participle. The past yes. participle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, written. That's the reason why we use uh, written, was written, right? The number yes. four. Uh, number four. Who can write? Who can tell us the number four? No. no, no. Mirna dice. Okay, Mirna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Compañero, qué malo. Ah, number four. Um, the world wide web. The world wide uh, web. Mm -hmm. The world wide web. Was the bellow? The bellow pet, Tim Burner Lee. By Tim Burner Lee in? In, in uh, 1989. 89, right? 1989. Yes, excellent, very good. The worldwide what? Uh, repita después de mí si quiere. Was developed. Okay. Was developed was developed excellent very good but oh, okay very good uh -huh. uh, the number five uh, another person for the number five Jose dice. <laughs> hello so the number five uh -huh. who wants to complete the number five hmm? <laughs> José, creo que... Ok, José, no creo que no... Mi teacher. Ok, please. Go ahead. Hey. The first digital ADTV was producer, producer by, by Google in, in 1991. Excellent, very good. Nice. Congratulations for you. Okay, yes. Okay, was produced. Was produced. Very good. Any I'm aprendiendo el otro nombre, Lucía. Ah, another <laughs> thing. I'm estoy aprendiendo el otro nombre, Lucía. Ah, okay. That's, that's nice. Very good. Okay. So, uh, right now we are going to move to this online exercise. Porque no me aburrido. In this online exercise, uh, you have to, to mark uh, one of the options, right? I'm helped or was helped yesterday. So you have to in the you have to uh, match. Ah, oh, but it's kind of long. Creo que este lo voy a dejar de tarea para que lo mande después porque está largo. Yo pensé que solo era la primera parte. Okay, so here what you have to do? You have to choose one of the two options, right? One of the two options, and then uh, so remember that the passive voice uh, no is only for present, so you can use it in different tenses, right? Okay, so it depends according with what you have in the sentence that you're going to use or was helped. For example, look at this. Milk is bought or milk will be bought every day. How, como, como se escucha mejor para usted? Milk is bought every day or milk will be bought every day? Mm -hmm. Hello? Milk will be bought. Okay, meal will be bought every day, sure? Yeah. Okay. It's bought, it's bought. Okay. Eh, and this one eh, is will be bought. La leche será comprada cada día, ¿verdad? La leche es comprada cada día. Okay, will be bought. Nick is sent or Nick eh, was sent to the library yesterday. Tenemos yesterday, right? Is sent or was sent? What are the two options? Was sent. Was sent, verdad? Was sent because we have the word yesterday, right? Okay. Uh, so, 
Liz was given or will be given a new toy tomorrow? Will be given. Will be given because we have the word tomorrow, right? And then you are going to complete the other ones, but this one is going to be as a homework. Okay, so I'm going to send you the link here in the WhatsApp group and also uh, and also um like that. Okay, but later on you can do it. Later on, and then you're gonna check if it is one of the two options or the two or the first one, right? So remember that uh, when you finish, you can uh, click here and finish and then check my answers, right? Okay, right now we're gonna, that, this one is going to be for later on. Va a ser para más tarde, so, porque ya solo tenemos 20 minutos, ya. Okay, we're gonna move to the, uh, uh, to the we're gonna move to the, to the platform. In the platform, we have uh, this exercise, the exercise that uh, you're gonna do right now. Es el ejercicio que vamos a hacer ahorita. So, uh, the, the first exercise, quiero ver. Sí, es lo primero. Okay, so is this one, uh, this one is a video. Ah, uh, this one, uh, the knowledge check. <laughs> Yo no se la muestro porque ya tengo la respuesta. Okay, so uh, this is the third one. Es en la primera sección, section number one, is really worth seeing. Vale la pena observarlo, ¿verdad? Really... Ah, a ver. Oh, ay, ajá. Yes, vale la pena verlo. <laughs> vale la pena verlo. Yes, it's true. So what you have to do, you have to choose the correct of the options, right? Can you do it right now? Oh, no sé si ya lo hicieron. Yeah. In John, sir. You already done? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. so can you give me, can you read one of them, please? Super, super, then. Sorry? What? What? What do you say? Necesitan el link. Ah, oh, bueno, tienen que entrar con su correo de, de inglés corporativo. Es que lo que pasa, teacher, que tendríamos que 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 abrirlo, o sea, y toda la cuestión, y creo que mi cafetera no da para tanto. Ah, okay, yes, la mía ahí va, es igual. Sí. Dios. Eh, okay, so, uh, so the keys, the keys, so. Uh, what is the correct, uh, so you can see the correct, the correct answer, right? Can you read the, the number one? Vamos a ver quién. Vamos, hoy vamos a empezar desde abajo. Eh, Margarita Abigail, no sé si nos lee la uno. Please, can you help us with the number one? Uh, teacher, eh, está compartiendo la pantalla de en eso, no. Eh, ah, no, Porque no, no, yo no. las pirámides sí, sí. veo. Ah, yeah. sí, es cierto, es cierto. <laughs> Give me a few seconds. Ahorita... Sí, tengo que cambiar de esto a esto. Sí, it's true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Okay. <clears throat> so, ahora sí va. Yes. Okay. So. The kiss was painted by Gustav Klim. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Margarita. Carlos, can you help us with the number two? The song yesterday. <clears throat> The song yesterday was recorded by the Beatles. Recorded, right? Excellent, very good. Okay. Irma Adriana, can you help us with the number three? Uh, can you help us, Ingrid Maricela? Hello, the Ingrid. film is number two. Number yeah, three. Uh, no, three, number three. The film... Uh, the list of Schindler. 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 The film Schindler's list was directed by Steven Spielberg. Yes. Uh, uh, another volunteer for the number four. Yo teacher. Okay. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Uh -huh. me, me. Okay. Go ahead. No, uh, number four, the novel Pran and Prejudice. Prejudice. What? Prejudice. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The novel Pride and Prejudice <laughs> was okay. written, written by Jane Austen. Yes, the novel Pride and Prejudice. 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 Pride, orgullo y prejuicio, prejudice. right? The novel uh, yeah. Pride and Prejudice. 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 And the number five? 
Thank you. Help me with the number five, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the opera. Sorry. The opera Carmen was composed by George Bisset. Was composed by George uh, Bisset. Bisset, right? Bisset. Yes, Bisset. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a, a, this exercise two. In this exercise, what do you have to do? You have to, uh, only the first, the five ones, right? Uh, we are gonna um, complete the sentences using the simple present in passive voice, right? With the verse in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Remember the yeah. structure, the structure is a B plus past participle, right? For example, mm -hmm. many crops grow in Taiwan. Was grown. Okay. Was grown. Was grown, right? Was grown. <laughs> Uh -huh. In your notebook, you have to type like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you grown, sir? Because it's are grown. simple. <laughs> I guess are are grown. Okay. No, Many was... crops are grown in Taiwan. Ah, see, yes, yes. It's in, it's, uh, are, are yes, grown. it's present oh, yes. simple. Because mm -hmm. it's present simple. Yes, you're right. Are <laughs> grown in uh, yes. Taiwan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So some crops consumed locally. <laughs> Yeah, are consumed, right? Are consumed. And consume is a regular verb, so ed at the end. Okay. And in the number three. So you're going to complete number three, four, and five in your notebooks, right? Other crops are sport. 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 Yes, are exported. Mm -hmm. Is uh, rice is cultivated. Is cultivated, right? Because rice is uncountable, right? Yeah, because yes. the rice, the word, the word rice is uncountable. You can measure, but it's uncountable, so you you have to use is, right? <clears throat> it's cultivated. It's cultivated <clears throat> warmer parts in warmer parts. And the number five, the last one, a wide variety of seafood is cow is caught. Mm -hmm. Cut. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's cut. cut. The rest you have to do it in your in your house, right? Remember that to complete the exercise here and uh, the section number one and the section number two is important. Es importante que complete los ejercicios de la sección uno y la sección dos eh, para el jueves, dice. Por favor, please. Entonces allí traten de irlos eh, ¿qué? Eh, completando, por favor. And then we have uh, this one exercise that I want to explain to you. So <clears throat> here you have a, a reading, right? You have to read the article. Vamos a leer yes. el artículo. Find the words in italics in the article. Vamos a encontrar las palabras en italica. Okay, in yes. Uh -huh. Then see. choose the meaning of each word or phrase, right? You have to choose. When you go off the beaten path, you one or two. One or two. Option yes. A or, or B, right? Option A or yes. B. Excellent, very good. So, uh, okay, so, okay. So you you can do it in your. Remember that you can do it as many times as you want. Si no está conforme, usted lo puede volver a hacer. No hay problema. Nos dijeron que los, los ejercicios los pueden volver a hacer las veces que quieran. Entonces, uh, no problem if you if you make some mistakes. No problem, right? You can do it again. Yes. Okay. And creo que este. Déjame ver si es el, el último. Sí, yes. ese es el último. Sí, es, the reading is the last one. Ok. Creo que me salí. And la vamos a ver. Me pasé a la sección 2. <laughs> In the section number 2, we have um, the past continuous versus simple past, right? What is the difference between past continuous and simple past? Uh, using ING. Ok. In past continuous, we use ING form. Yes, the ING. And in the other one, in the, in the simple past, is for okay. activities that already have uh done right already you already have finished those activities right uh so uh but so in this one in the simple past you already finished with the activities and the past continues are activities in the past but can continue and you can repeat it uh, later on right and uh, for okay i have a game no sé si tenemos suficiente tiempo para hacerlo la asistencia no le he pasado verdad Okay. No, no la pasado. Sí, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Okay. Uh, no estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? La pantalla. Hasta el momento no. 
Okay, sí, mejor porque I want to mention your names. Ana Yamilet, present. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos José Asensio, present. Present. Okay, uh, Stephanie Saraí Martinez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Uh, so, Geraldine Eliset. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ingrid Maricela. Here, teacher. Okay, Irma Adriana. Present teacher. Joanna Michelle. Hello, Present. Joanna. Okay. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano. Okay, Jose Alejandro no, didn't come today. Okay, uh, Juan David, I started. Right? Carla Melissa. Okay. okay, Kevin Josias, vi que estaba ahí conectado. Siempre está en el trabajo, teacher. Yes, okay, it's okay. Lucía Elena. Present, teacher. Okay, Mar Margarita Abigail. Present. Maritza Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Merin Daniela, ahí la vi. Present, teacher. Milagro de la Paz. I'm here, Mr. Okay, Mirna Janet Landos. Present teacher. Okay, Monica Daniela Reyes. Present teacher. Okay, Nelson is there. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present teacher. Okay, Pat Patty Esmeralda. Present. Patricia Margarita. Patricia. Present teacher. Ronald Alexis, ahí está, ¿verdad? Yes. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. En Estefania Abigail Quintanilla. Present. Okay. Sí dijo present. <laughs> okay. So very good. I have a game here. Just give me a few seconds. Okay. I have a, this game about the battle, right? But this one is okay. So uh, you're going to listen like a music, and the battle is going to move, and so you are gonna tell me stop, right? Okay. Let's see who. Uh, ¿quién? ¿Quién me diría stop? Vamos a ver. Eh, so, number 10. Ok, 1, 2, 3, 4. Bueno, yo no me cuento. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Patricia Esmeralda. Usted es la elegida. <risa> ok, Pati. <risa> ok, so yo, usted me va a decir stop. Ok. Ah, pero okay. no estoy compartiendo. Va. Espere, espere. espere no. <risa> Okay, give me a few seconds. Que tanta, tanta cosa share screen. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. So, um, okay, quiero ver. Sí. Vamos. Esperemos que cargue. Que okay. va a decir stop. Recuerda. Ah, ajá. Tell me stop. Ok, le tocó say three regular verbs. ¿Será que nos dice tres verbos, verbos regulares? In present and in the past participle, right? Ah. Okay. 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 No, forget oh. no es regular. Ah, sorry. Um, forget, forgot, eh, no es regular. Uh -huh. Forgot. For, for regular uh -huh. verbs are the ones that ending in, in ed. ¿Eh? Ah, clean. Ajá, clean, clean. Ajá. Eh, work, work. Work, work. Uh -huh. eh, Uno más le falta. ¿Quién le sopla? Under, ah, no, no, no. no. Play. Right. Play. ¿Ah? Play, played. Right, play. Ok. Patricia, dígame un número play, o play. un compañero. Play, play. O dígame un compañero o dígame un número. Ah, al más confiante, Juan David. Ok. Ok, Juan David. Eh, so you're going to say stop, right? Juan. No sé, será mi conexión, pero yo no veo que se mueva, teacher. ¿Y los demás? No ven que se mueva. No, ya, usted diga stop. Do you have siblings? Le toca hacer usted la pregunta a uno de sus compañeros. Do you have siblings? Okay, um, a cualquiera. Yes, 
Uh -huh. Ok, del 1 al 20 escojo a Milagro. Do you okay, have Milagro. siblings? Yeah, sure. I have two siblings. Ok, um, how many? I, uh, two. Two, uh, two. sir. Yes, two. Um, I have an older brother and a younger sister. Ah, ok. That's nice. Ok. Very good. Uh, oh. <laughs> so you are in the middle? Yes, you're right. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. So, but you don't have, they are not twins. I mean, you you are not twins with the other ones, right? Oh, no, no. Okay. We are not. <laughs> no twins, no no triplets, right? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Jesus, right? Triplets. Okay, now uh, choose another person. Milagro? Okay. Uh, let me see. Monica Reyes is there? Monica. Mm hmm Okay, Monica, say okay. stop. Está brotando la amistad, Patricia. Stop. Okay, the proof of one. What did you do yesterday, the day, during the day? What did you do yesterday? Study or work? Uh, study. Study. You study in the university or, yes, right, in the university. In college? Or eh, in Avanza. In what? Avanza. Ah, okay. That's nice. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. So only only that? So yes, only that. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Very good. So for tomorrow. <laughs> or, okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. Uh so for tomorrow, I'm gonna explain the homework. Right, we have a, a chat. Uh, present Nelson and it's a present. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Uh, for tomorrow, we you are going to talk about a uh, one famous place for thirty seconds. For thirty seconds, you are going to talk about one famous place, the place that you want. It could be in El Salvador. It could be around the world. It could be uh, in what in your favorite country. But you are going to talk about one landmark, the ones uh, the one that you want. Right? You are going to talk for uh, 30 seconds, right? For 30 seconds, va a hablar sobre un lugar que a usted le llame la atención. Okay? Is clear the homework? Yes, it is. How much time are you going to talk? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, right? Excellent, very good. So, uh, in 30 seconds, I think, como son bastante, ¿verdad? No porque le diera más tiempo, pero son, son, son varios. So, you're going to talk uh, for tomorrow about a... Uh, uh, a landmark that you want. Only one. Solo uno, porque si hablan de varios, hablan de dos, se nos va a ir bastante tiempo. Como son alrededor de 28, son verdad. Son varios. Okay, so, uh, do, do you have any questions so far? Questions? No questions? Yeah. Hello? No questions, teacher. Ah, okay, that's, that's good. New shirt, it says. Okay, that's nice. Very good. I'm going to also... <clears throat> Here I have ah this PowerPoint presentation. En esos tres minutos creo que creo que so for the past. Comenzamos right? tres minutos antes, teacher. Remember, you remember. Yes, yes, I remember. It's okay. So uh so remember that in the passive voice it depends um the what si la si ven la presentación va. Yes, 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 yes teacher. Yes. So so the form you have a different tense so be. So is, was, is being, has been, etc. right? Also the models. So the article was written by a well-known journal. See the, the most common, uh, but also we have another structures, right? So for example, when you have a, the present simple and the structure is the verb to be and the past participle. In the present continuous, uh, we have a, the verb to be, the verb ing and the past participle. While in past simple, was or were, and the past participle. We have the past continuous was where plus the verb ing and the past participle of the verse. And we have the present perfect how has been and the past participle. So, um, quiero ver, déjeme, no sé si ve esto. Quiero ver, lo voy a mover. Sí, sí lo veo. For example, you have the house is being painted. The house is being painted, right? So, uh, so we have a, it's a spoken here. English is a spoken here. The house is being painted. In this case, we are using which tense? 
Okay, we are using the present continuous, right? The present continuous stands in passive voice. Yes. Yes, the, in the passive mm -hmm. voice. The house is being painted. I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited, but I went. <laughs> I wasn't invited, but I went. That one is using the verb to be in past and the past part. As simple. Mm -hmm. Yes. As okay. simple. I felt I was being watched. I felt I was being watched, right? Past so, continuous. Yes, excellent, very good. Past continuous and in passive voice, right? Has yes. Mary been told? Has Mary been told? Do you have any question with the structure or the meaning of this sentence? No, it's a present perfect. Yes, in the last one is present perfect. I mean, in general. Yes. I don't know if in general is clear the idea about the structures. Yes. Yes. Okay. No questions. No questions about this. Okay. So remember that uh, the tense that you're going to use is according with the complement that you have, right? Because for example, if you have yesterday, so you're not going to use a, a you're not going to use is is spoken, right? So or is uh, made right or is constructed so if you have yesterday so you have to use an adequate tense for uh, the structure of the sentence okay I, I don't know if it is clear yes or no <laughs> o lo confundí más <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so uh, so uh, we have a, a more the last one examples here Okay, so uh, also we have uh, the models, all the models, and also we have uh, the past perfect, right? Have been plus the past participle, will future will be plus the past participle, going to and the model verse, right? The examples, veamos los últimos ejemplos. I knew I had been forgotten. I knew I had been forgotten. You'll be told soon. Who is going to be invited? Okay, uh, it may be destroyed this week. Okay, oops, me pasé. Okay, so uh, you, you will be told soon who is going to be invited. Uh, it may be destroyed this week using the model may, right? Do you have any question with this structure? No, it's clear? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay, so thank you so much for joining today. So remember that the homework is the platform and also tomorrow you are going to talk 30 seconds about a famous place. Okay? So okay. thank you for joining. Good, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Okay. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Gracias por su esfuerzo de unirse. Thank you so much. I really good appreciate night. it. Thank you. Good thank night. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um,